What if I told you that there is a new tool that has the grip strength stronger than a boxed-in wrench, yet retains the flexibility of slip joint pliers? Call me out. It's true. Coming up next right here on Better Biomed. These are all tools that I believe can be replaced for the most part by these guys. That's right. We've got metric and standard SAE box end wrenches. We've got channel locks or slip joint pliers. We've got crescent wrenches, adjustable wrenches. These were all over in my toolbox as my roll away. So when I deploy to a site, these go with me. Do you know how much weight that is? And to think about it, usually I keep a set like this in my tool bag because guys, I always have a separate tool bag which has got lighter, generally more useful, versatile components than my rolling tool chest. And that's why I have these guys. So take a look. We'll go with the largest one right here. This is the Nipex pliers wrench okay so here's the interesting thing about these they look like slip joint pliers right but they have one crazy little feature you can probably see right there you see that it's got a cam and linear jaws so the jaws here are not linear see how they go straight up and down the jaws on traditional adjustable wrenches are not linear you see how they move and if you don't get the right bite angle, you are actually at a V. So where it wants to eject the uh, fastener. So that's why you have to get the handles as close together as possible for the size of the fastener or else it will want to eject the fastener. And you can see that they have curved jaws with teeth. I really like that about these. These Craftsman brand will not get replaced in my kit. However, slip joints like these old reliable channel locks, these ones here are replaceable. The adjustable wrenches, all the different varieties of adjustable wrenches, the crescents, they're replaceable. All these guys are replaceable because I bought this three-part kit and it's got a small, which is, you can see they don't open that much, but you press the button it goes all the way down to what is that an inch over an inch how crazy is that an inch large fastener in the palm of my hand I can't do that with many of those that's for sure here's the medium size the concept is the medium size is going to be in my tool bag it's the most versatile out of the large and the small so it's going to go in my tool bag. These guys here are going to go in my rolling tool set over there. And all of these ones here are technically expendable. If I need the space, I will take them out of my rolling tool set. And these guys will be the only thing in the drawer, which is going to save me a heck of a lot of space and weight. But let's go ahead and take a deeper look into why these guys are so special. Now, they do handle metric and standard, of course. You can see that there's engravings right here and on the opposite side, standard fractional. So it goes up to what, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. It looks like it's inch and a quarter maybe? Inch and a half, inch and a half. How crazy is that? So these guys here aren't completely linear jaws. The very tip of the jaws, ooh, very difficult to do with one hand. The very tip of the jaws comes together before the inset of the jaws, which creates kind of a clamp because you don't want the V, which is what we get with standard. You can see even right here, if it's open just a little bit, it actually ejects the fastener. So you're fighting against the torque of the fastener. These guys here 
With linear jaws, they evenly grip the sides of the fastener, and if anything, the very tips right here are a little bit closer together than the back of the jaws, which allows it to hold on much, much tighter. So right there, you can see that it's cammed. To press the button, adjust the size. Actually kind of easy. see the jaws move very very little there's a firm grip there and I only have to put force on the one leg and that is surprisingly easy okay let's take a look at some larger fasteners you can see I can go way larger than this and these are what one inch or so Oh, very easy. See, it loosens off, tightens up. All right. Try it on this side. It's even larger yet. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. And look at this. I can put all my force downward on the pliers and they're getting a lot of grip on that guy but that little bit of movement means that we have to get it closer to the size of the fastener than with traditional pliers but that's okay they're gonna function much closer to a boxed end wrench or an open end wrench so you're gonna have to get close to the size and then you grip it down so there's several pluses that I really like. Yeah, it's it's got the engravings for the sizes written in, but as the pliers get larger, they got these grip surfaces right here. You can see it's tapered. It's very nice. It's comfortable in the hands, that's for sure. So when you're grabbing them like this, one of the things you don't have to worry about is pinch points. How crazy. There we go. So even when the handles are all the way down, you can see my hand is not being pinched. This little standoff right here pushes my hand out enough where it's not getting pinched. And same on the opposite side, you see that? So they give your hand a natural place to sit where it won't get pinched. That's, that's a lot of thought. I really appreciate that. The larger set right here, oh my gosh, what size do they go up to first off? 52 millimeters or two inch, holy cow. Let's go ahead and press it all the way down. Two inch. That's crazy. Now those ones there might be able to do two inch, but take a look. The jaws, since they're linear, are gonna be nice and even on a two inch fastener. And if you really wanted to get some extra grip on it, you can shove a pipe or something like that over this upper handle because most all the pressure is on the upper handle. Unlike these guys here, can see the pinch point right there that I was talking about. Oh yeah, I've definitely been hit by these guys before. Uh, so these ones here, you have to get the handles closer together to make sure that that V of the jaws doesn't exist, all right? And at the same time, you have to get the handles closer together because the togetherness of the handles equals the grip strength on the fastener. So as you're adding torque, you have to squeeze even harder. That is not the case with these because of the cam right here and the mechanical advantage it adds on a linear jaw you get even grip on the sides of the fastener and it allows you to add much less effort than with the standard sliding jaw pliers look at that i dig them they're not the cheapest thing in the world but when it comes to modifying your toolkit and making it more versatile I would say this one right here, which is the 8603-180, these are the most versatile out of all these. But one for my tool bag, two of them for the tool cart, and they basically replace all these tools. How about that? I would still keep these in my toolkit because you can see it's got the curved jaws, which allows you to grab rounded fasteners 
or things like, uh, let's say, all thread rod, something like that. Still very, very nice to have a set of curved jaws, which these do not have. So I would say my Craftsman and those, pretty much all I need. Anyway, guys, I know it's a little long-winded, but to think that a revelation and tool technology, like adding a single little cam on a hinge joint, would create so much mechanical advantage. Much like a bolt cutter, they have the double joints on the, on the small bolt cutters. It compounds the mechanical advantage and allows you to exert less force and get more work done. So, anyway guys, that is the Nipex pliers wrench set. I'll leave a link in the description down below and check them out. They're not the cheapest ones in the world, but they seem to be very nice quality and they're gonna replace many tools.